द क्वेश्चन से इज द करेक्ट नॉम एन क्लेचर फॉर द कॉम्प्लेक्स लेट मी राइट दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स वी हैव एफ ई एंड इट इज फोर इज देयर एंड देन वी हैव एफ ई एंड दिस इज वर सी एन एंड होल सिक्स इज देयर एंड क्लोज ब्रैकेट होल थ्राइस इज देयर ओके दिस इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स गेवन हियर ओके Before naming the complex, always identify if the central element in the complex is present in the cationic part or in the anionic part. We can break this uh, complex from here because this is the counter ion. So this is first one is positive followed by negative. So you can see this is the central element, and central element is present in the anionic part. Means when we name it, we have to use its special name. This is iron, so I will use ferrite. Okay, and this is counter ion, so we name it as usual. Okay. So let's say the naming for the complex. We follow the order. What is the order? We have first of all number of ligand, then type of ligand, then we have central metal atom, and then the oxidation number of the central metal atom to be written in Roman numbers. Okay. So counter iron. I write this is iron is there. It is iron. Okay. Now pay attention very carefully. <coughs> We have to start naming for the anionic part. This is the complex part because you can see close bracket is there. So first of all, number of ligands, how many six are there? Only one type of ligand is there, so we can write this is hexa. Hexa is there. Then we have type of ligand. This is cyano. Cyanide ion is there, so we can write cyanido. Name will be cyanido is there. Cyanido. Okay. Then for the central element, we use a special name. Ferrite is there. This is ferrite. Okay. We have central metal atom. and then we have the oxidation number of the central metal atom and uh, in roman numbers how we can calculate the oxidation number pay attention here for this we do not know the oxidation numbers so we can do one thing we can criss cross 3 is here and 4 is here so we can criss cross so 4 will go at the top second part is negative and first one is always positive is there okay so this iron is present in plus 3 oxidation number and this entire anionic part is having minus 4 charges there now we easily can calculate the oxidation number of iron pay attention here we have iron is there plus 6 cyanide and each cyanide and is what minus 1 and overall charge for the anionic portion is what minus 4 is there minus 4 okay so if e minus 6 is equal to minus 4 then if e is equal to minus 4 plus 6 is equal to plus 2 is there very interesting so you can see we have to write this oxidation number in roman number so we got a ferrite too okay If you see this name, you know you can see ferroso, ferroso, ferric, iron third is there, hexa, cyanido, ferrite is there. Somewhat this option is matching, but you can see this three is there, iron three. And why this three is given there? Because you can see this iron, this counter iron is present in plus three oxidation numbers. Okay, plus three oxidation numbers. So we can mention the oxidation number of the counter iron. Okay, so iron three in general for the counter iron we don't need to mention, but if it is mentioned in this option, you know we can include because this option is not given there. So then we can go further, we can extend. <coughs> uh, uh, we can see that which option suitably is given here in the question. So iron third, yeah, iron three hexa cyanido ferrite two, iron three hexa cyanido ferrite two. Option uh, C is correct. Okay, option C is correct. This is not possible because both the ions are not present in the complex. That's why it is not possible. Okay, this is also not possible. This part is also not possible because we are not following uh, the order to name the complex.